Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So today we've driven up all the way from Manchester to um, Inverness and more importantly Fortros and Channery Point. Channery Point is quite a, a magical place that we came to last year. Um, if you don't know what Channery Point is and why it's magical, let me explain. So every day following the low tide, the dolphins follow the salmon in and they follow the salmon in from out, out at sea, right out there, and then they follow them in all the way up through the channel and it, it bottlenecks at this point at Channery Point. And what that means is that the, the, the salmon all kind of get pushed together and the currents underneath the water here push the salmon up uh, and the dolphins know that and they wait for them and they catch them. So it's not a guarantee. Uh, we've been here a few times in the past where we've seen nothing. Uh, we came earlier this year and we sat for hours and, and saw nothing but it is a magical place when it happens because literally the dolphin will be five meters from the edge of the, the coast um, they're that close that I'll put a photograph up on the screen while I'm speaking last year I, I've got a photograph and you can very clearly see its eye as it was breaching out the water and um, so it, yeah it, it is a magical place but it is a case of sitting tight and waiting and waiting and waiting some more. So come along for the journey and see what we see. So we've waited about two hours. A uh, couple of seals, no dolphins, and that's Channery Point, I'm afraid. Sometimes they come, sometimes they don't. So we've got low tide again this evening at about seven, seven o'clock. So we'll come back this evening for a second chance, um, maybe with a fish and chip supper, which would be nice. So we're off back to the hotel now to get some breakfast uh, and then plan the rest of the day. So hopefully we'll come back this evening and see some dolphins. So I took a chance, came back after breakfast, got here for just before 10 o'clock and I've only been waiting about 10 minutes and they've arrived. Um, much later than, than I would expect them to arrive, but they have arrived. At the moment they're hunting in amongst the rapids for the salmon um, and hopefully once they've finished the hunting is when they should start doing their displays. So fingers crossed, stay with me and let's see what we can see. To give you an idea of how close they really truly get, I'm gonna flip the camera around and you can see. So you can see plenty of people here and just where all those people are stood on the end, the little white water that's just beyond it, no more than 10 meters is where they're currently hunting for the salmon. So it's about trying to get a position on the beach where you're not being obstructed by other people. So they're still very much actively hunting. Uh, we're only really seeing the, uh, the backs breaching and the tails up um, as, they, as they sink down chasing the salmon. Uh, and the hope is once they've finished hunting and they've had the fill, that's when they should start to play and we should start to see the breaches. We've seen one breach so far but when you just get one sporadically like that, it's almost impossible to actually see where on earth they're going to breach next. So it makes photographing them very, very difficult, but they're just actively hunting. They're here, there's a, quite a large pod of them. I think there's probably double figures, the number of uh, dolphins that are here. 
um, and I'm hoping I'm catching a little few clips of it for video for you but it's very difficult very very difficult Still hunting. Uh, seen some really fast, powerful lunges forward where you, the dorsal fin just powers through the water as they chase the salmon, which is incredible to see. So we just need to fit, get them to, to a point where they've eaten everything and then they don't bugger off back out to sea and they stay around and do some uh, some jumps for us, some breaching. That's the hope. Um, but they're still actively hunting and they have been now for probably. 15 20 minutes seems like a lifetime anyway They're having fun now, they really are. I'm just going to try and capture some on video, but most of the stuff I've caught has been on camera if, if I've caught it. Um, they seem to be jumping all around us in front and behind, so it's, it's difficult to know where to point the camera. I think we're nearing the end now. They've, they've pushed off from the immediate bank, out heading back towards out to sea. They're still still breaching though, but when they're further out, it's very difficult to predict where they're going to be jumping from. So trying to get the shot makes it very very challenging. Uh, perhaps they're just doing it just in front of me now. So It's difficult, it's difficult. And the biggest problem is, 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 is people, and it's not their fault, it's just people constantly coming in front of you. Um, but they've definitely pushed off now a little bit. The tide's coming in rapidly, which isn't helping as well, which means we were at the back, but we're fast approaching being at the front of the queue um, as people are having to kind of move back and back and back because of the tide. Just when we thought they were going, they've all headed back, right in front of us. Um, <laughs> it's difficult to know when to leave. I'm going to get in trouble when I get home. I said I'll only be an hour. Well, I'm back at the car now, and uh, 
just kind of sitting back and thinking about the day what an experience Channery Point it's the third time I've been to Channery Point now um, second time I came and I never saw any dolphin at all um, but this this today oh, this morning I thought it's gonna be another blank I really did um, and then I, I went back had some breakfast came back and it's just been incredible I'd say there were there were double figure um in the number of bottlenose dolphins that were there they were absolutely incredible they got young with them they were actively hunting for the salmon they were flicking the salmon out of the water um you never know whether you've got any photographs it's, it's pointless pi uh, pixel peeking on the back of your camera um hopefully there's been some photographs and i've shared them um throughout the video if there hasn't i'll put some video uh, some photographs that i took last time this time last year because uh, i got some great shots then so i'll put them up on the screen um, but if you've not been to Channery Point, definitely worth a visit. It's an incredible place to come and see. One plea though, um, if you're bringing children, um, try to encourage them not to throw stones into the water. Uh, I've just had a really quite an uncomfortable encounter with a lady um, because lots of people were asking her to not allow her children to throw stones in the water. And she took umbrage to this and started having a, a, a pop at everybody. So I decided that I wasn't happy about that. So I told her what I thought. Um, and that's not like me. I don't usually do that. But I just thought it's so antisocial to be throwing stones into the water when you're there to see beautiful animals in the water. I just, I just, it, it begs belief. If you want to throw stones in the water, go somewhere else and do it where you're not going to cause a problem. Don't come to a wildlife area and start throwing stones in the water crazy anyway i'm not going to let it spoil my experience because it was a truly magical morning um and if you've enjoyed it please click like if you'd like to see some more please click subscribe we're fast approaching that thousand uh, subscribers mark now which i'm really keen to get um apparently i get uh, you know some some different uh, op opportunities present themselves and i can share pictures through youtube uh, once i get a thousand subscribers so if you haven't subscribed please click subscribe i'd appreciate it and until next time ta -ra.